subscribe yet please right there subscribe click that like button hey we're trying to get these subscribers up we're trying to get these likes uh, fill up the content uh, say subscribe subscribe say bye-bye bye-bye to myself that quitting is an option however what will be the choice each day So, you know, one thing that David Goggins has always, you know, kind of said is that, you know, you have to be accountable for yourself. Meaning when you look in the mirror, be brutally honest with yourself. And I think that, you know, ever since I've heard his book and, you know, a friend of mine told me about him years ago, you know, that was embedded in my brain. So anytime that I work out, I try to make myself quit. Um, whether I'm running, doing push-ups in the gym, weightlifting, plyometrics, cardio, endurance. It doesn't matter what the exercise is. Um, I try to get to the point where I want to quit, where I'm like, my chest is burning, uh, or, or I can't see, or, 
you know, like, cause of sweat in my eyes or whatever the case may be, you know, uh, I'm about to make myself throw up. I want to make myself quit. And then I want to not, you know, I want to, I want to make sure that I test myself to that extent every single day so that when I go home, uh, when I'm put in a situation with my family, when I'm put in a situation at work, I know that I'm better than, you know, a moment in time where I get frustrated or where I am emotionally challenged, where my cortisone levels might skyrocket and I feel like I'm about to lose it and, and blow my top. So every day I try to make myself quit and then I make the decision whether I'm going to or not. Uh, the last two weeks, I've been really pushing myself and pressuring myself to evolve. I think that evolution is something that occurs naturally. However, I think that in order to really beat the curve, you know, in which we have to evolve, I force myself to, you know, kind of like superheroes where you know, Deadpool, for instance, you put him in this chamber and you take all the oxygen out the chamber and you force his body to evolve. You force his, his molecules to start to split and combine and do all of the different, you know, things that they have to do in order to survive. So I'm not gonna wait for someone to make me do this. I'm going to do it myself so that I can beat them to that punch. trying very hard right now to push my limits um, in ways that I haven't tested before. You know, it's been a very physical journey for me. Um, you know, it's been a very mental one as well, but I can't say that I've been intentional about the mental pressure that I applied to myself other than through being physical, other than working out. So lately I've been taking on more responsibilities and I've been, you know, trying to really intake as much information as possible. So I've been reading more books, listening to audiobooks. I mean, I rarely listen to music. I think the first album I listened to recently, and it's August 22nd, was King's Disease, Nas. That was the first album I have listened to and I would say the past month. Um, because I deleted iTunes off my, off my phone just to say to myself, like, that's not an option. The only option you have is Audible, books, and, and, and note taking, you know, and YouTube so I can like watch Impact Theory and I can watch, you know, the different interviews and motivational uh, videos and TED Talks and things like that to make myself grow. I'm trying to, you know, I'm not the best. I, I love reading, but I'm not the best reader. I can't just read through something and intake and or uh, retain all the information. So now I'm in the process of challenging myself to do that. Now I'm listening to as many books and taking as many notes as I can so that I can um, improve my um, ability to retain information just like that. Um, I'm causing, I'm making myself remember people's numbers and I'm making myself, you know, remember my passwords and stuff like that. Yeah, I still write that stuff down, but it's very intentional in everything that I'm doing. So. 
this is the type of life that I expect, you know, people to be afraid of. And that is the very reason why I'm doing it. Because that fear, somebody, somebody actually asked me, they said, um, where does fear come from? And I quickly answer ignorance. And I truly believe that. I think that a lot of fear is just ignorance. It's not knowing. I think, you know, he said, um, he said like when, or I made the, the analogy, you know, when the first, when the white man first saw the black man, he was probably afraid because he didn't know what it was. He was like this thing over here of a different complexion um, is a human. That was the first thought. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But for the sake of the metaphor or analogy, I, I say that to say that they were afraid of something because they didn't know what it was. And so you you have like two options, you know, the fight or flight. And, and it's like if a bug is to fly in your room. If you see a bug, you either gonna run and cower and jump under a blanket or to call your husband or wife to kill it, or you're gonna grab a fly swatter, grab a boot, grab a hammer, and you're gonna try to get that thing away from you and kill it. So I think fear comes from ignorance and the fact that people are afraid to make themselves quit is the very reason why they do quit. It's the very reason why we don't pressure ourselves and make ourselves uncomfortable. So with that being said, um, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be delivering more content based on, you know, trying to stretch my limits, trying to gain more information for myself, trying to learn different skills and uh, really become the best person I can be, the best man, the best father, you know, uh, sooner or later, the best husband, you know, whatever role I play, I plan to do it with excellence. I heard a, a motivational video recently and the gentleman said, when you change your perspective from just doing the job to wanting to be great at the job is when you'll start finding success. That's to say that if you suck at something, it's okay to suck, but then you go into that situation saying I'm gonna be the greatest. The first time I had that thought, um, like, and truly believed it was, I wanna say like three or four days ago, you know, I've been doing this for a while and I think I'm gonna be great at everything, but like I said it to myself and I'm like, yo, like, I'm gonna be the greatest cook, the greatest coach there ever was, the greatest motivational speaker there ever was. I'm gonna be the, the I mean, like, like second to none, period, point blank. Like right now, 25 years old, I'm going to be the greatest. Going to be. Like there's no, there's nothing that you could tell me that would make me think otherwise. I can't hit a backflip. I promise you, if I start go, go outside right now and start practicing backflips, I'm going to be the best backflipper you've ever seen. Like I, I mean that so sincerely. Um, we have to give ourselves more credit. And with that being said, stay blessed, work in excellence, design, diet, dedicate. We out.